Hi guys, this is Self Coding Lab, and today we'll be looking into how to use environment variables in view projects. So today I will be using a pre-existing view project that I, I have created, um, which is basically a full stack user authentication view project using JSON Web Token. But um, you could use any other project that you guys might want to use that might need a uh, environment variable. So let's first open up the project and run it as well. Um, you guys should be running any project that you guys would prefer um, that might need uh, environment variables as I said previously. And let's also open up a browser window to check out the website. We'll also open up the developer console. So here we have our project, which I call view auth. Um, what's on the screen, I would say doesn't really matter as much. It doesn't matter as much compared to what's on the developer console. So let's go ahead and get started with uh, adding in our environment variables. So in the root of our view project, our view project will add a .env folder or .env file, and in here, how we will initialize a view environment variable would be by writing view underscore app, then any view property name you guys want to might have called. For example, I, for example, in, it's common to have different, root URLs depending on a development and production mode so that's sometimes I do use root URL and in environment mode since it this is environment mode I'll do something like localhost 8080 or just localhost 8080 and if I just save it and re this is important you have to rerun your view project because um, property our environment property only is initialized when the first project is compiled. In order to use this view uh, environment variable, let's go into app and in here, let's just go let's write mounted and if we just console log process.env dot view app root URL. So as you can, as you can see, this is what we get logged into the console log. And as you can see, it is from the app file, as you guys could tell by the right hand corner. 